bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel by the special grace of the living God. We am here to give you the latest update about the, the accident that is happening now and the carefulness and the preparations of the Christians on what to do and also to tell you the date to start coming to the camp and this I'm going to say all these things together please let's pray and put everything into the hands of the living God let's pray everlasting father we want to bless your name because you are faithful be glorified and be exalted in Jesus name I pray, O oh Lord God, that the Spirit of the Lord descend down and touch everyone listening to me in the name of Jesus Christ. As you hear me, I pray the Lord God will touch you and visit your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, one of the things I want you to hear and to understand right now probably is going to help you to, to be a kind of uh, uh, prepared enough for what is to come. I remember there was a prophecy I gave about uh, sometime last year about hungers and the, uh, about uh, people removing their money or whatsoever from the bank. It's happening now. And it's so terrible, especially in Nigeria now, as at now. And this is the rumor that is going on now. It's not even the rumors now. The government of the Nigeria, they ask people to go and to, 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 to go and deposit all the money, old currency they have. That there is a going, there's going to be a new currency that is going to come out. So everybody went there and go and deposit them. All the money people have, people have to go and, because government said that if you didn't deposit it, you are not, we are not going to accept that old currency again. It means that money is going to be wasted. So you deposit it, they will give you another one. So people went there and deposit it into the bank. But to their surprise, the new currency that they made were not given out. The old one was being kept. And this was a problem that was going on right now in Nigeria. As I'm telling you now, people have lost their life. One, the reason is because there is no money to spend. Those who don't register their, their bank with their phone, their phone number, maybe they don't know how to do transfer from their phone or they are not using uh, US SSD, or they don't have app, they are half finding it very difficult to live life now. No way to spend money. This has started happening since January or so. People are, you know, there is uh, protesting everywhere, problem everywhere now, as I'm talking to you now. So, because people are not receiving money, they don't know how to get get to bank they will tell you there's no money now this is the point i want to bring out to your notice this part of what i saw before as at last year i saw people hungry if you go to market now you will only find very few people there even the few people you find there you don't have money to spend so what they had to do is that you have to transfer even to buy ordinary biscuit is transferring you have to transfer now that is not where we are going anyway where we are going now is this there is a message not given to me so i want to clear it out the message was not given to me it was given to a particular uh, brother also this beloved brother he said it that the lord told him that he the lord told him in the revelations Jesus Christ told him in Revelation that the Nigeria has already started the Antichrist. And the reason why he's starting now, it was because 
Nigeria is supposed to be the one who is going to bring out the end time revival. So Satan come with the idea of let's start it there so that the plans God is having will not be able to work out. But he didn't know that he, he has failed already. Now, this is what is going to happen according to what Satan do. Okay, let us start it from there so that it will not be able to work out. Now, the man of God said that he has the revelation that the Lord said the Antichrist has already started from Nigeria. How did it started is that there is a particular card. About a week ago, I had one of the governor in 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 in, in, in uh, as, as, as specifically a do state. This governor, he was he was in his open speech to people to comfort them of the uh of the less you know the of to comfort them of the uh the money that people are not seeing to spend so he told them something that there is a car that is coming amen you see that there's a car that is coming and this card will be the one people will be using to be paid that it will not be atm card any longer now I didn't understand at the first. I was like, "Card, which one is card again? We have ATM card. So which one?" He said, "This one will be a general card that you cannot buy or, sell or you cannot pay anything except you use this card." The governor said it in his open speech. He he exposed the plans of government. He said the government are trying to make it cashless policy, which means they want to eradicate cash so that you can be using. A kind of online payment or a uh, uh, or card payment. This initiation came from the white country, but Nigeria have to fast forward it to make it faster. And the reason why they are doing this is because the devil himself, you know, the revival of the hand is going to come from Africa, so you want them to be the one to start it. Now, they are eradicating currency, eradicating normal cash to, to a cashless policy. The governor said that it's going to be cash, that they are taking it. It's an open speech, open speech of the Mr. Governor. He said it's going to be a cashless policy. That, but they are coming with, it's a gadra process. That's why they say people come and donate first. So by the time you go later, we tell you no money. So you are, they want to want you to start learning how to transfer from your phone to another and stuff. Now this is not the main important things and the most uh the most hard things there. The problem there is that the man of God said the 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 the, 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 the president, the chairman, the president of the CBN, which is the central bank of Nigeria, he is taking an order from satan i told you before god he didn't tell me so if it is revelation for god i will tell you there's nothing there's something you should know about me i will not come out to see anything except i receive from god so if i don't receive i better stay on my own and be quiet quiet but this one i, I felt it that it must be true because it's one of the things I've saw before. I've saw it before. But this one now, the man said, he said, God said that this man, this the chairman or the president of the CBN of Central Bank of Nigeria, he is collecting order from Satan. He's going to go to collect order from Satan. And that is why all this thing is happening. Now, where the problem is going to lie is this. This card has been confirmed by the by the by the by the Minister Governor. And the CBN, I asked one of my I was telling one of my pastors, I said, Pastor, this year what they are saying about Cardo. And the pastor said, he said he has already here since last year, that they have announced it. Me self, I didn't know. He said they have announced it since last year that they are going to 
launch it out in this January 16. The last year, uh, the last March, January 16. That they will launch the card. This card, they call it domestic, uh, maybe domestic card or whatsoever. That's what they call the card. That they will launch it. This will be the word you are going to be using. Launching it is not the issue now. They didn't launch it because the election is coming this week. The election is coming this week, February. Now. Yeah. yeah. Now, listen to me. So their plan is after immediately after election, they are going to launch the card. Now, launching the card is not the issue. The issue is that the card, the man said Jesus Christ told him that the card will be attached. I don't know how true it is, but I just want to tell you. He said the card will be attached with your COVID-19 vaccine number. Which means if you have not collected vaccine, you don't have a number. You will not be able to collect a card because the card will not work until you attach your number there. Now, I know they are going to change the system of your phone, your app, your bank app to same number. You will just go into the same app that you have been going to before. By the time you go there, you will be asking for your vaccine number. If you want to transfer, he will ask you for your vaccine number. So if you are not collected vaccine, it means there is no way you can put down your vaccine number. So which means your money will be freezed. Everything will be freezed. There will not be way. There will not be way of you eating or buying or sending even though people send you money even listen to me are you here even though people send you money there will not be way you'll be able to spend the money do you understand my talk even though people send you money there will not be way you will spend the money the reason is because they are freeze your account because there is no number the man was he said jesus christ told him that christian needed to be prepared and this is what i told you if you go back to my revelation i gave you 22 i said it about hunger those who did not collect vaccine we suffer seriously Somebody was saying that, uh, sir, I want to go to school. I said, school is not the matter now. It's the matter now. Now, Nigeria is starting their home. Now, it was an order from the white countries to them that tells them that this is what our plan started from there. It's going to circulate around the whole country. There's nothing you can do. It's going to be cashless policy. And it's going to be registered with your vaccine number. Now, your money will be under government control. Not no more in your own control. Cash, cash, you know, go see. Transfer, transfer, you will not be able to transfer. Now, if such a situation happen, tell me how you are going to survive. Tell, now, they are telling you leave that country now. You are saying, ah, ah, opposed to self. Some of you were using that I'm a scam. I said, it's okay. I told them, I said, it's okay. He said, opposed to self. I said, it's okay. When the time comes, nobody will tell you. I'm telling you the truth. The Bible says, he said, we is a prophet. A prophet is he who says something and comes to pass. You might not see it now, but you will see it later. Someone was saying that uh, he said, I'm thinking I'm a matter. You do know what it means to be a matter. It is when you wanted to pay your bills and you are unable to pay your bills that you will know that you are not a matter. The pain will pass through. You will walk. 
as is going to be cashless policy and the only way now as at now now those who are coming to nigeria now if you are not planning to come now you might not be able to come now you come again that's the truth if you cannot come now you will not come again because as it is going now there is no money in the country country now that's the church somebody is telling me this money she's telling one of my pastors this money that they are you get to the bank this money over 500 people were already there food the back no money listen to me the fact is this if you are coming to Nigeria to spend are you going to be spending dollar for the transport now if they start the cashless policy, how will you be able to, to travel to the camp? It is becoming harder now. This is exactly the time you can go. Because now, that's why, why God was saying he's calling his children to be in the camp. You were saying, uh, maybe uh, uh, Apostle was, he told them, he said, go and be doing farmer. I was telling, I was telling people, I said, now the only thing can, that can survive the people now is fat because when they block your money how you go buy food no tell me now how you go buy food now there is no way you're going to buy food it's what you planted that you'll be eating because to do transfer sometimes Steph, will not be even though you do have money even though you say you are working, when they give you the money, how will you spend it? Because it's already locked. You will not be transferred out. Do you know what it means now? When they are telling you to, I know it's happened to your own side too. Now, I want to ask a question. I, I have not been, I have not lived in the white country before, but I have people who are living there. Now, in, in, in the white country, when you are to pay your bills, if your bill expires, what happens? Automatically, that thing switch off. If you are paying bills for your televisions or for your water, if the bill, if you didn't pay the bills again and the bills expire, what happened? That thing just automatically switch off. There's nothing like a sa 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 dear. It's going to be the same way. Before you know, you become homeless. God is telling, it is already obvious now, especially in Nigeria now. Every year, if you traveled, a pastor came to a meeting. We have a pastor meeting about some, especially, uh, we have a meeting about, uh, you know, how the church can be progress. The church in the world can be progress. So, the pastor came to the, you know, we have a meeting together. He told me that since from where, because where he traveled from to the place I was, is a very long distance that cover over six, uh, six to seven hours uh, journey. And he told me that from his coming to this place, no car was following him. Everywhere was dry. Onka, if I show you video here, you'll be afraid. See man that is, he went to the back nakedly. He, he, he off his old clothes, he off, he off pint, he off clothes. He was naked as God created him. A man, a big man, and he was crying for money. He said his wife could not eat. Something happened in the state I was. No, the, a, a nearby state. This man went to the hospital. The wife, the wife was, uh, 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 was about to deliver. And he went there to the hospital to take the wife there. And the doctor said he has to pay cash. They do accept transfer. When he see that he has no way to pay cash, he has to bring the wife home and call a nearby nurse. And the nearby nurse trying to make art, you know, to give back everything. The wife bleed and she died. There is a young boy who, who was sick. The parent took him to the hospital. Another hospital. They were saying that the currency was spending his old one. I should go and bring me one. Or, or they would not attend to him. 
before the man go around and go around, go around, go around, go around to go and do for money. Before he arrives, the boy died. This is what is going on now. God have told you, go to the camp. You know that you are here, that is like as if they put a oil, oil, oil something there that do allow you to obey one time. By the time that thing begins to come, nobody will tell you. By the time that thing begins to happen, nobody will tell you. You will say, Jesus, Jesus Christ himself, we know go hear you. People say that God didn't say people should go to camp now. You can see where you are and be doing your camp. You go, no. Because you have to team up and do what you are doing. You have to team up. Because if you do team up, there is no way you can do it. There is no way. Now, being in the in the middle and in the people present, you know, in the bedrooms present, where there are many bedrooms, you can work together and create a life. You can work together to become a farmer. You can work together to be a doozy. You can serve God in holiness and righteousness. You can be teased. You can be, everything can be good because you are united. But you and your family in one place, it will not help out. So the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. That is for that one. So the Lord was, the man of God was saying something that we just need prayer. Because that is where it's going to. They will lock your money. They will freeze it up. Now, based on the people now that are coming to camp, there is one thing I want you to understand about those who are coming to the camp. Listen to me. Number one, if you have collected COVID-19 vaccine, you cannot come. You have to understand things about the camp. If you have collected COVID-19 vaccine, job, you can't come. That's why. Two, If you are not born again, you are a sinner. You cannot come. Because many people are testing me. So I have to tell you, some people were even testing me that that school of heaven, that's the city of the holy camp, the city of the holy saint. Uh, is it, uh, is it, how much are we paying for this school fees? How much are you doing this? Listen to me very well. You are not paying any school fees. You are not paying any school fees at all. So it's going to be a school everything there is not going to be a payment for anything no 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 all what you needed to come with is this come with your normal domestic uh things like pail uh come with a soap you used to bath cream whatever that is what you have to you need to come with and your load you are not paying you are not paying for feeding you are not paying for accommodation all these things are free you are going to be fed daily but this is what we do we contribute together if you don't have don't worry those who have we have people who are helping us who are who might who are sending little we join it together and we buy food and we farm. All what you have to do is that we are farming. We have to farm. That's one important thing. But you wanted to pay for food. No, 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 don't worry. Except if you wanted to contribute. That's okay. Well, I wanted to contribute voluntarily. Yeah, we don't force. We believe if you understand what it means to live a life of the art of apostle, you will be able to, you know, if you understand what it means to leave the art of apostles according to, to Acts chapter 4 and 5. The Bible said they were living in one accord. And this one, this person did not say that I'm the owner of this one. I'm the owner. Mm -mm. Everybody was doing it in one accord. So if you understand what it means, we believe we don't need to tell you. So if you can just come and say, okay, sir, I'm donating this. Because when we are here, everything that belongs to me belongs to everybody. 
and we believe that this should, if you also come here everything that belongs to you should be liberal to everyone so there's nothing like a, uh, i'm the owner of this no we don't do that here we cook we eat it once all of us eat we do this in one unity in one accord then we teach about heavens serious teaching no it's not the one they are doing in theology school or whatsoever this one's not theology school it's the city of the holy saint so we teach them amen so we teach them and uh, we give them a thorough lecture on how to live a righteous and a holy life a thorough lecture a thorough one and it's a school whereby we destroyed every viewpoint and make sure that you live a holy life and the lord says that he's going to use us as the end time revival so now when you are coming you are ready to stay you don't just come and say you are going back again that's the difference is god is calling the gathering of the saints together to be in one place to be in one place so we are going to be building and building houses with our ourselves oh. we build it ourselves so we build your own house when you come there you don't have to have your money to build house no we build house for everybody every member every 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 student so we build it in our best way everybody contribute we build house to so everybody must have their house at least half a where they are staying the only thing that you have to do is obedience to be there before it's not get late and you begin to ask it, ah, apostle can you see and you say god can see that it's, it's already lit so and now as at few days you will see that i have not been talking on the youtube or whatsoever the reason is because i am waiting on god i am seriously waiting on god for instructions those who know me know me for that i will not do anything without god instructing me and he had just instructed me that i should allow people to start coming now so you are when you come you are going to arrive for screening so after the screening you're going to be given a form so you you, you fill the form then we open a file with you in this every school it's not about coming with your result whether you are educated or you are not educated whether you are a french person whether you are, a, you are from french we have a, a french people here whether you are you are from whatsoever you didn't need any education whatsoever it's a heavenly gathering it's a gathering of the children of god it's god that is doing it all what you just needed to do feed the form then we open a file with you you put it there so then after we give you the instruction they are instruction that do they are don't do and don't in the ministry which you have to follow they are do and do it which you have to follow so we give you these things so after that you go so i don't think you have much things you wanted to ask i've said it before so when you come you are staying it's a city to so stay there's a children's school so we're going to build a children's school so it's not to just be going to be an adult only children too we continue their education but the difference is there is just that their own education will be biblical education not like the way worldly people are doing their own they will be continuing their schooling but it's not going to be like teaching them we only teach them mathematics and english that's the other the other rest the and the bible that's the only three subject the scripture so that is the visions so and i want to tell you something you that you are having count and you are not sure whether it is jesus that is telling you to go and have it you are in danger yes you are seriously in danger because you having count without god instructing you we are later it is not now it's tomorrow it's tomorrow to affect you tomorrow 
he just as somebody who say that he wanted to go and have a search if you wanted to be in the camp it's been open now as from today is opened till after the after uh, the election that is till march till march 10 till march 10 from now till march 10 is open anything you want to do try your possible best to do it if and if you know you are interested in this camp make sure that you tested me on whatsapp so that we can put your uh, your name down and put it down amen so, so that we can put your name down so you have to test me to know who are coming so then another thing you have to know about the the, the coming i will give you as a message when you test me i will test it to you and give you the list of what you might want to bring or your personal need to the camp i will let you i will set, set it, test it to you on whatsapp so and i pray the lord god will help you in the mighty name of jesus any other question you have in whatsoever you can ask me on whatsapp or on whatsapp so god bless you and god be with you in jesus name so begin to drop your contact and everything and your message on whatsapp so that i can direct you to the secretary of the ministry or to my second pastor so that he can hand it because most of the time i might not be able to attend to you because i'm always in god's present lock up in god's present so i might not be able to attend to you even when you arrive if they might even be the one to have come and interview for you i'm always very very busy with god so the lord will help you in the mighty name of jesus christ so please this message make sure you share it to people let them know what you are saying now we are saying it now there is still grace for you to enter because if you are not entering now there will not be any means for you to come even transport when there is no money how will you be able to transport yourself to come so god bless you and god be with you in jesus name shalom subscribe to this channel and press notification button and if you are also you are led in your heart and your spirit to sponsor the building of the camp or whatsoever you can also whatsapp me so god bless you and god be with you in jesus name amen shalom bye bye